Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this butterfly cutout, a little cube, and dowel, scrapbook paper, and beads. I started by taking vintage Victorian chalk paint, painting the back side of the butterfly and all around the edges with two coats. Once that was done and dry, I took the butterfly, placed it on the back of my scrapbook paper, which was from Hobby Lobby, traced out my butterfly and cut that out. I applied a layer of Mod Podge to the unpainted side of the butterfly and then placed down my scrapbook paper, smoothing it out with my hands. And then I placed down parchment paper over the butterfly and ironed on the scrapbook paper. And this smooths out any bubbles or wrinkles and dries the Mod Podge. Once that was done and dry, I took another layer of Mod Podge and applied it to the outside of the scrapbook paper, dried it with my heating tool, and used a nail file to sand off any excess scrapbook paper. Next, I took my wooden cube from Dollar Tree, marked off the center of one side of the cube, and then used my drill and drill bit, which is a 7 second drill bit, and drilled a hole in the center of that. And then used Barcelona beige chalk paint and painted the entire cube with two coats, as well as my dowel. I then took some beads, which I have three different sizes, and some wire. Folded a piece of wire that was longer than the set of beads lined up next to each other. I put on one of my smallest beads. And then at the bottom, where the bent part of the wire is, I just folded the wire over with some pliers a couple times so it fits inside that smallest bead. I then put some hot glue on the folded wire and put the bead over that hot glue. I then placed the rest of my beads down on the wire. So it's two small ones, two medium size, and one large bead. I then separated the wires at the top of the largest bead, took a paintbrush and wrapped the wires around the handle of the paintbrush and trimmed it up to the size that I wanted it. I then painted the beads with plaster chalk paint and I gave those two coats. Once those two coats were dry, I took the Barcelona beige chalk paint again and painted in between each of the beads just to give them a little definition in between each one and then used a baby wipe to blend them in. Next, on the front of the butterfly, I placed some Gorilla Grip glue and hot glue down the center and placed down my beads with the largest bead at the top of the butterfly, smallest at the bottom. And then one of the beads was just not staying in place, so I hot glued two beads together. And then I took plaster chalk paint, dry brushed on the wooden cube, and used a baby wipe to blend it in once I had all that on there, and did the same thing to the dowel. Once those were done, I held up my butterfly to see where I wanted it to go above the cube cut down my dowel, probably about four inches off. And then I placed down some Gorilla Grip glue and hot glue on the back center of the butterfly, placed my dowel down, and then I took some of this raffia and just made a bunch of loops, used some raffia to tie it off in the center, I then cut all the loops on both sides. 
I then scrunch the raffia on both sides. Then I trimmed up the raffia and hot glued it to the top of the cube in front of the hole I made. I then took these little pink flowers, which were from a pick from Joann's, and hot glued them to the raffia. Next, I took Gorilla Grip glue, placed it on the bottom of the dowel and some hot glue, and then placed that down in that hole I made. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching.